Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and very good morning to all of you. I hope you are safe and sound. Welcome to Millie's Telegram classes. This is the grammar lesson for advanced level. In this lesson today, we're going to talk about the remaining types of infinitive. First of all, let's talk about bare infinitive. Now, a bare infinitive, remember, is also known as incomplete infinitive. So what is it? The base form of the verb without the infinitive marker too is called bare infinitive. Whenever we use only the base form of the verb without to, to is known as an infinitive marker in this context. That sort of uh, infinitive is known as bare or incomplete infinitive. Now remember, we cannot say that every base form of the verb is bare infinitive. There are some specific uses of bare infinitive that you have to bear in mind. So here are its uses. Number one, after the modal auxiliary verbs. So usually, as you all know, after the modal auxiliary verbs, we use the base form of the verb. And whenever we use the base form of the verb after a modal, that is called a bare infinitive. For example, David can use the king. For example, David can use the camcorder. Now in this sentence, we've got a modal and that is can. After the modal, we have a base form of the verb use. This is known as bare infinitive. And you cannot say David can to use. That's wrong. She should observe the social distancing rules. Now in this sentence, the base form is observe and it is used after the modal should. They mustn't behave recklessly. The second use is after the sense verbs. So we have talked about it. A sense verb is a verb that is used to show our senses. So for example, I saw. So saw is a sense verb here. I saw Jawad deliver the lecture enthusiastically. In this sentence, the base form of the verb is deliver and it is used after a sense verb. So, we can also call this bare infinitive. This one is not bare infinitive. Number two, Fatima caught Asya breach her privacy. So, here the bare infinitive is breach and it is used after the sense for caught. Shapur observed Wahid teach English. And I will watch him play cricket. The third case of bare infinitives is after the causative verbs, not all causative verbs, specifically make, let, and have. So, for example, uh, Durani makes us keep silent. So, here the causative verb is make. And we have already talked about uh, causative verbs. In short terms, I can say that a causative verb is a verb that causes another person to do something. So, here, keep is a bare infinitive. Ahmad lets his students enter the class. My one has Suleiman wash the clothes. And I made him work on the project. The next use is after would rather or sooner. So these are specific expressions would rather or would sooner. Now after them whenever we use the base form of a verb that is known as bare infinitive. For example, Ziaur Rahman would uh, rather buy airpods. So here, after would rather, the base form is buy. And that's known as bare infinitive. So the Qula would rather work on a computer. Farid would sooner narrate a story. Now, the last usage is after have better. So have better means should. Uh, for example, Shams had better work in the office. Jawad had better finish the classes on time. He had better acquire more skills. Muska had better contact me now. In all these sentences, the bare infinitives are work and finish, acquire and contact. Now let's talk about the third type of infinitive, split infinitive. So the first one is full infinitive, the second one is bare infinitive, and here is the third. Now, split infinitive is a two plus adverb plus verb structure that is used for emphasis. So, to split means to separate something. Uh, whenever 
we separate the to and the verb, our full infinitive, and between them we use an adverb. So that sort of infinitive is known as split infinitive. So, for example, we want to carefully work in the office. Now, the normal form of this sentence is we want to work carefully in the office. But for emphasis or stress, we can say to carefully work. So basically, the basic particles of the infinitive are to and work, but between them we have an adverb. This sort of an infinitive is known as split infinitive. Next example, she needs to really improve her English. So here the split infinitive is to really improve. Hamid likes to urgently see the doctor. And the last sort of infinitive is average infinitive. When only two is used in answers, it is called average infinitive or also abridged infinitive. Sometimes it happens that we use instead of two plus four only two, especially in answers. That is called average infinitive because we have made it short. For example, someone asks you the question, who wants to go with me? And you say, I want to. You don't say, I want to go. Simply you say, I want to. That too is infinitive, but it is called average or abridged infinitive. Next example, who likes to go to Switzerland? Ali likes to. So here the abridged infinitive is to. Now let's do an oral exercise. Find the infinitives in the following sentences and identify their kinds. Let me do the first one. He wants to. So here we just have to. It means it is shortened. That's an abridged infinitive. So, good luck with the rest of them. Alright, number two. He likes to carefully teach. So, to carefully teach is split infinitive. Ali could speak English. It's bare infinitive. I need to see a doctor. It is full infinitive. We saw Ahmad come to class. It is used after a sense word, so it means it is bare infinitive. To learn English is easy. It's full infinitive used as the subject of a sentence and he can teach well so it's used after a modal that's why we call it bare infinitive this concludes our session for today do not forget that there is an exercise on the same video that you have to perform after watching the video remember this was just a short version of our today's lesson the same lesson is taught in complete details in our regular classes thank you very much